so hey guys what's up today we have brought you a new video where if your graphics card in require an update or if your graphics adapter may not be supported then this video is for you so let's move to the solution and uh, at first you must make sure that your windows is up to date the that issue might be occurred uh, if your windows isn't up to date and so first of all update your windows and try once and even after updating the windows it doesn't work then let's see some ways to fix that so first of all we must need to update our graphics driver so first uh, for that Press window R to open the run window and then type as I do and then locate and click on display adapter to expand the category and right right click the graphics driver and select update from the context menu you can see here update driver and then you can click sort, sort automatically for drivers we found follow on screen instruction to complete the process once done restart your computer if this doesn't work you need to reinstall the graphics driver so for that open device manager again and click to expand the display adapter category so and after that right click the graphics driver and choose uninstall device now you can see on the top there is action option click on action and click scan for hardware changes to reinstall the driver so alternatively you can restart your computer after uninstallation because your pc will automatically restart the deleted driver upon the reboot so that was the first solution let's move to our second solution and the second solution is uh, install direct x 12 uh, we must install direct x 12 to our computer so for that uh, press windows r and type dxdig and it will open the direct x diagnostic tool now go to the system tab and check the direct x version it should be direct x 12 if it's direct x 12 then your window uh, graphic driver is rebooted rebooted and outdated uh, if it's not you can visit the microsoft official page for direct x uh, select your preferred language and click download but i think on windows 11 it will automatically install upon the reboot but if you are using the less than windows 11 like windows 10 and less then you can visit the microsoft store microsoft official page for direct x and you can download it from there also if you encounter direct x error on windows 11 consider reinstalling the latest version and now let's move to our third solution and that is downloading virtual c++ redistributable for visual studio 2015 um, go to visual c++ redistributable for visual studio 2015 website and select your preferred language and click download choose the version that suits your computer and click download now a file will be downloaded double click the file and initiate the installation and follow on screen instruction to complete the process uh, if you encounter a microsoft visual c++ runtime library error on your windows you need to perform a uh, input on your computer so there is another way also for doing this like disabling hardware acceleration but this this method should must fix your issue if all this doesn't fix your issue then you leave a comment and we will uh, try to make more further detailed video on this uh, so that's all for today hopefully this video helped you to solve your issue so make sure to subscribe our channel to never miss and trustworthy video on tech so have a good day bye